Welcome to our video review session this week with No Bones About It Puppy Day School. Well, we'll call it teen training with our perfect little duo. Uh, so I think, you know, we've had enough conversations for you guys to know that um, given the fact that I have these two, we're sort of doing a lot of out and about training. We are uh, going to parks, we're going on trails, we're trying to do at least kind of two outings like that every week where we are simply building on all of our foundation skills. Recall, pay attention, walk nicely on your leash. Uh, we, there's gonna be a lot of video clips inserted in here while, where you will just get a flavor for kind of the stuff we're doing when we're out and about. One of the clips was uh, yesterday at the middle school, they had a PE class and there was a million kids out playing with hockey sticks and things like that. So just, uh, again, still working on that socialization, um, especially for Rosie, and she has really, I mean, I feel like Melissa and I really had a conversation last week and said, hey, four weeks ago when we brought her to the Sausalito Dog Park, it was like she was so uncomfortable and so just wanted to crawl out of her skin. She wanted out of there so badly. And yesterday, in comparison, at the Mill Valley Dog Park, with big, kind of, oh, excuse me, are we not sharing? You can't have that if you can't share, sorry. Um, so, you know, big dogs, rambunctious, and she was all in, and it was really great to see. So, super proud of that. Um, Miss Lucy continues to be really great out and about um stay on her like i know you said the other day you went out she jumped on the table a couple times try to be more proactive about things like that and uh, you know we've talked about it with rosie like counter surfing you need to be on it before it happens because once the behavior happens if it's jumping up on a table jumping up on a human whatever it is that dog has already pulled reinforcement from that behavior because it makes you pay attention to them, it makes you interact, and they get to see things and do things that they, they couldn't do when they were down on the ground. So if you go to a place like that, instead of deciding, okay, I'm gonna have to push her down three times and then finally she's gonna settle down. Let's start off and go, I'm gonna to try to prevent that behavior from happening. I'm gonna put some treats on the ground, I'm gonna bring her chew, I'm gonna do something so that immediately she's entertained and she is not as inclined to practice the bad behaviors and be corrected for them. So that's a takeaway for everything that we wanna work on. Um, you do a crazy, you're crazy. So I'm gonna also show you um, and again, at this stage of the game, not necessarily in, introducing a lot of new skills. So that's why I didn't send anything last week. There's, a, there's not a lot of new stuff we're working on, but I want you to kind of, I'm gonna do a quick recap with each dog um, and also show you a few, little, uh, a few little tricks that we're trying to teach her the puppies that you can be reinforcing on your days together, all right? Yes, good girl. Good girl. So we're just trying to get around as many distractions as possible. Hi, Rosie girl. Touch. Yes, touch. Yes. Good. So she's really just ignoring this whole thing, which is great. Good thing we've been working on like high five and but she does she comes up with both just see what happens if you ask her to high five she come usually comes up with like both <laughs> oh that's pretty good that's pretty good
want to call her? See if she'll come Rosie! over. Rosie! Rosie! Rosie, come! Yes! Good girl! Oh, you too. I oh, know. you. I Miss Wooshy. She's like, I need treats too. I need cookies too. Oh, you're such a good girl. Not confident, but as we know, super athletic. Good girl. So this is just one of those interesting things where it's like in real life, um, <laughs> you know, Lucy is generally nothing really bothers her, but you introduce a different a different skill set, and <laughs> vice versa. We've got Miss Rosie who tends to be nervous around stuff and <laughs> you got it I believe in you come on you, you can do it you can do it Good Rosie's girl. like what's your problem <laughs> she's like it's like this like, man it's so easy what are you doing I think what this tells us <laughs> is that uh Rosie could be a budding agility dog yeah exactly. I think this is what this tells us that's a good confidence building thing exactly let's bring her let's bring Rosie! Ready? Rosie, come on! Yay! Good job! Oh my goodness. Rosie, you did just get on the kitchen table, so I'm pretty sure. Lucy! Lucy, you're not helping. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, ready? Ready? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, oh, good. Okay, you want to try this one? Rosie! Ooh, that one's really high. Rosie! Go, go, go. You got it. Lucy. You want to go up. Lucy. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Go. Good girl. You're like, yeah, that one's a little high. That one's high. Okay, let's go this one. Oh, oh, so good. So, so athletic. So athletic. Yeah. Come here. Go, go, go. Look at you. Her. She literally is. Yes, come on. Right here. Oh, you went, you went past the mark. What happened? Gosh, it's so far. Which is one of the skills we've already got. So, if we're going to do touch, 
Switch hands, which is really good, because that's really hard for my dogs. Hey, high five. No, you gotta actually hit my hand. Come here. Yes. Good. not very happy, but she's not very happy right now. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Very good. Very good. circles but we love just practicing walking next to me sitting when I stop getting used to focusing touch oh that was a paper touch yes good girl very nice okay I'm red down good girl uh -uh. making sure she stays in whatever ma'am whatever position we've asked her to be in and if she doesn't really get herself planted then what I want you to do is meaning she doesn't really have her body relaxed on the ground I want you to take the treats and get her to sit on her there you go so you're gonna take the treats and you're gonna put them slightly off to the side like up on the like her shoulder so that she rolls over onto a hip there's a lot more planted position for her. So she doesn't want to spring up right away. And wait till she hears, okay. That's her release command. She shouldn't be doing, like if I ask her to lie down, there's no just like getting up on your own. It's like you need to hear that release cue, okay? Get a few more of your Charlie Bears. Down. That time she kind of settled on her hip to begin with. That's great. Make sure that the rewards are happening during the behavior when we're asking for longevity, meaning I want her to just hang out here. So the rewards are happening during, not after. Meaning once I release her, she doesn't get any treats. Okay, good girl. Tap, tap, tap on the back till she lifts. 
Mark it with yes. Shake. Yes. Good girl. Then I'll start to put my hand down there and she'll just lift up her paw. Try the other one. No, she doesn't like that one. So you guys will also see in some of the video clips that I've uh, put in here, like when we're working on the agility stuff, anything that is expanding your puppy's ability to figure things out is really important. It's part of just like learning to be a dog, but also more complicated training skills come from the ability to, um, again, even if it's just like walk up that A-frame, how do I do that? How do I build confidence in that? So we really are kind of at a fun point where we're trying lots of different things right now. Um, so hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.